Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Nick White. Uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, check the description for all my information. I have playlists on my channel. So we're doing all of the Java videos right now. We already did standard input and output before. Now we're doing it with different types. In this challenge, you must read an integer, a double, and a string. Oh wow, we got some variety. And then we've got to print the values according to the instructions in the output format section below. To make this problem a little easier, a portion of the code is provided for you. This is going to be tough. There are three lines of input. The first line contains an int, second line's a double, third line's a string. And then we print them in reverse. We go string, double, int. Um, and then it gives us this little note. This is the only trick to this problem that I actually got caught in. Uh, if you use the next line immediately after next int, which I didn't know, uh, next int keeps reading integer tokens. So then we're going to, if we call next line right after next int, we have to do a double call because the first next line is just going to read left over white space at the end. So um, it's pretty easy besides that. So they take in the first integer here, and then we take in d is double, so not int d. It's is it library open string break? Uh, one sec. Double is uh, a type in Java, and then we do scan dot next double, um, and then we do string s equals scan dot next line right so these are the three types we had to read we just had to read an integer double string and then we print them right down here so that's pretty much it right wrong this isn't gonna work and I'll show you it doesn't work just because of this note up here you'll see fails the test cases the note says if you will use next line right after you do next double or next in it's reading tokens so it reads all the tokens on the line if you passed in maybe when you pass in 3.1415 it reads this double but it's looking for more double still. So when we read next line, it's actually gonna read white space here. So what we have to do is we just have to either, you can do um, s equals scan dot next line. And then this time it would have already read the white space at the end. So it jumps down to the next line after that. So this will work if you do this, but um, you know, that's just cause we obviously know this. They gave us that note. Or you could obviously just do if s dot is empty, you could do something like this. If s dot is empty, then you could do that. So you could just make sure that s has a value. Um, and just, you know, if you don't understand this, just read this a little bit better, I guess. Um, you could do this, something like this too. So you could do a check, make sure it's not empty. Um, or you could do maybe a different check. You could do, um, no, you know, that's fine. That's fine. So there you go. Taking in different types with the scanner and we're printing them in reverse order. Very easy. And we're going to do some more here. Um, one more time. If you use next line immediately after next in or next double, uh, next in reads integer tokens because of this, the last new line character, the last integer, the last new line character for that last line of input integer input still queued in the input buffer so that's specifically why and the next line will be reading the remainder of that integer line which is empty so it reads a new line character that's in the input buffer still all right thanks for watching uh check out the rest of this java tutorial i got 36 more to do this was number four so uh thanks and next time